Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is GHS InfoSec, and in this video, I will be giving you my top five reasons why I think you should learn Linux, especially if you're interested in cybersecurity. Let's go. Now, real quick, my first Linux experience was when I was in college. I've been using Linux for over a decade now. However, I didn't understand at the time why I needed it, didn't really want to learn it, and I struggled a lot at first. But in this video, I hope to convince you of my top five reasons why you should learn Linux, especially for cybersecurity. Reason number one, you will encounter Linux. Currently, I work in cybersecurity. I have for about five years, and I use Linux daily. I've used it as a daily driver for over a year now, so my skills have improved a lot. In general, it will help improve your skills in system administration, examining logs, maintenance, monitoring services and applications, automating certain kinds of workflows. And there are a lot of web-based and cloud frameworks that run Linux in the back end. A lot of IoT devices use it. Even just in general in IT, you're gonna come across Linux at some point. So if you're interested in an IT career at all, you're gonna to need to learn Linux at least a little bit. But the good thing is there's a lot of resources out there. The community resources are abundant. The people are helpful and friendly and chances are you will find an answer to whatever question you have on the internet. Which leads me to my next reason, which is most security tools are built for Linux. There are tons of open source tools out there for Linux. They are either for Linux itself or the an entire Linux system with all types of stuff on it. And it's just completely free and open source. Everything from command line utilities to full security frameworks. On the blue team side, for instance, you have SIMS, you have forensic analysis tools, traffic analysis tools, incident response tools. And on the red team or more offensive side, you have complete operating systems available to you to be able to use that stuff. Um, it's important to have a foundational skill in Linux because you'll need to learn how to install these things, troubleshoot them when there's problems, maintain them, and as far as it goes, especially for red teamers, Linux is a must have. There's no bones about it. You need to know Linux. You need it for ethical hacking distros like Kali Linux or Parrot OS. With Kali and Parrot, most of the tools you'll need to do your job as a red teamer are already built in. In some cases, you may need to install some other tools, but there's probably an open source tool out there for you. And in general, all you need to do is just download one of those and get going. You're ready to go. And because a lot of these tools are open source, you can just install them yourself on your favorite distro. Maybe you like Ubuntu. Maybe you like Fedora. Maybe you like Debian. Chances are, one of those package managers is going to have some of those open source tools in their package repos ready for you to download and install and just get started. You wouldn't even need Kali or Parrot for that. Now, not only are the tools open source, but my third reason why you should learn Linux is that Linux itself is completely free and open source. The fact that you can develop cybersecurity skills on a completely free and open source operating system to me is incredible. I think that's awesome. You can't say that about the other guys. Proprietary software can be great, but the problem with that is your ability to get new features, updates, customize things is really limited. You don't have access to the source, you don't have access to the vendors or to the developers, and your ability to be able to take that software and make it do what you want it to do is completely out the door. On the other hand, with Linux, there is an entire community worldwide of people contributing to open source projects, to Linux projects. In my opinion, that's just a better way to do it. You have more people reviewing code, more people being able to give their input and feedback on features or put their own features. You even have the ability yourself, if you have the skills to program your own features and contribute to those projects and get your ideas and your implementations input into those tools. And even if you're not a programmer, that's okay because that leads me into my next point, which is that Linux is a full development environment. Unlike Windows, Linux comes with programming languages built in. You have debuggers built in. It gives you the opportunity to get started learning how to program, code your own tools, debug applications, find vulnerabilities. And more importantly, you have the opportunity to secure these applications and systems because you're able to kind of, you know, peek behind the curtain and look under the hood and see where those vulnerabilities are, how the functions or system calls are implemented, and you can actually 
actually make them better. And the nice thing about getting started to do this is you don't need to do anything special. You can start programming or scripting right from the terminal. And if you have a question about something, you don't even need the internet. The man pages are built in, so you don't even need the internet to do that. Now that's going to come with a grain of salt, especially if you're new to all this. You'll want to have an internet connection so that you can do some research, find some good resources. But I mean, come on, that's pretty sweet that you can do that. Who needs Google? I'm just kidding. I use Google every day. And reason number five that I have for you, and this is a personal reason of mine, is it's just fun. I have to admit, my first experience with Linux was completely overwhelming. I had no idea what I was doing. I could barely even use Windows. I didn't know much about technology at all. However, I stuck with it and I learned a lot. It really helped me out. And even though now I've been using Linux for over a decade, since I've forced myself to use it as a daily driver, it's really helped me improve my skills, not only in IT, but in cybersecurity especially. And that wouldn't have been possible otherwise. Now me personally, I use Arco Linux. And as an Arch Linux user, I'm obligated to tell you that I use Arch, by the way. But it doesn't really matter what distribution you choose as long as it fits your needs. And the nice thing is you have the freedom to do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. And for me personally, a lot of times I just really enjoy, you know, ricing my desktop and, you know, custom my own environment because I can. Now, when it comes to cybersecurity, you may not know what path you want to take. You might be interested in forensics. You might be interested in incident response or red teaming and offensive operations. But... That's okay, you don't have to know where you wanna go with it just yet. Just dip your toe in the water, play with it, have some fun and learn something. Learn the fundamentals, learn how to navigate the terminal, learn how to install packages, break everything, pull your hair out. You will do that, I've done that plenty of times. Start over, find some good resources, some things that you like, whatever learning platform works for you. Maybe it's video, maybe it's reading books, maybe it's online resources. You know, just find what works for you. And before you know it, you will have a luscious neck beard and you will be using Linux like a true professional. So there you have it. Those are my top five reasons for why I think you need to learn Linux for cybersecurity. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how much you love Linux or how much you hate it. If you have any reasons of your own, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. My name is GHS InfoSec. Thank you for watching.